Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I have another grocery haul for you for the Walmart online ordering pickup. I didn't do a grocery haul last week because honestly, the week before I didn't cook as much because we had a lot of after school events at my school and I just didn't cook. So we ate out a bunch and I had all those recipes to roll into last week. So I only had to pick up essentials like coffee and creamer and milk and a couple of things for the kids. So it wasn't much to show you. So that's why you didn't see a grocery haul last week but I'm out of a lot of things and a lot of things we needed for recipes so let's get into the haul first I want to show you my um, menu my recipe menu for the week and um, we're gonna be making cheeseburger sliders meatball subs biscuit sandwiches slow cooker Dijon pork chops and potatoes now that's a new recipe I haven't made it before I'm gonna try it before I share it with y'all on foodie and then for foodie this week an Easter theme recipe is gonna be carrot patch pudding cups so great for the kids I can't wait to make them for my kids to try so be on the lookout for that for this Friday carrot patch pudding cup so this is the weekly menu I do have a menu planner on the way I order from Amazon so I'll share that with y'all in the next grocery haul so yes everything that you see here was $119 with tax so many of y'all been asking, how do I keep my budget to about $100, $115 per week? And that's because of this online gro grocery ordering, honestly, because I'm not in store making impulse buy buys. I'm just buying it offline, going off my list, and I don't deviate from the list. And I think that's why I can stay in my budget every time. And the kids aren't with me picking things up. So guys, definitely check that out. If you have it in your area, I highly recommend it. It is awesome. Check out my last video. I'll link it up above because I explained the online grocery in more detail. So let's get into what I got for this week for our groceries. Now, I always pick up this 100% apple punch from Great Value. One of y'all sent me a message about where our apple concentrate comes from, an article, and I read it and it was very interesting, but it's like, it, when I read it, it's like, where do I get apple juice then? Because apparently we're not supposed to be drinking any of it. But this is the kind that I get. It's no sugar added, 100% juice. It's pretty cheap and the kids like it. And we do dilute that. I also got 100% juice cranberry grape. And this is for me and the hubby. No sugar added. We love this in the evenings or in the morning. Then I got a big Mama Jamma box of goldfish flavor blasted extra cheddar goldfish. Um, Trey will only eat the extra flavor blasted. He can tell the difference between the regular and this kind. If you've been with me, y'all know Trey is autistic and he has sensory issues. So that determines a lot of the foods we pick up. Um, but he will only eat this kind. Now he has been eating these like a fiend lately because he was sick with a sinus infection last week and that has changed his taste buds. When he's sick, he changed the way he eats. So you're not going to see our original queso because he has not wanted it. Yes, you heard me right. He has not wanted that queso, which has been cray cray, but he's been eating these like a, oh my gosh, like a monster truck. So I went ahead and got a huge box because Waylon likes them too. Then this Coke Cherry Zero, this is for Mama. I love Cherry Coke, but the Coke Cherry Zero tastes pretty comparable to me and you don't have all the calories. I only drink one soda per day, guys. I drink usually a diet soda on my break at work for the caffeine while I'm working. I don't drink sodas really on the weekends. I drink water or flavored water, so um, I don't go cray cray with them, but I like to have my caffeine on my break. Then y'all know I always haul this cinnamon raisin Great value bread. It is so good. And I think it has more raisins in it and more cinnamon than a lot of the name brand cinnamon bread. So definitely check this out at your Walmart. It's really good. I needed an onion for um, the sliders and for the pork chops, I think. Then I always get this homemaker premium orange juice. It's cheap and it's the only kind I like. It doesn't have pulp, which is all me. I do not like pulp at all. None. I will not drink it. So this is the kind that we like. Then um, Waylon likes this Go Go Squeeze, and it's the Gimme Five. So it's a blend of apple, mango, strawberry, peach, and banana. He loves this one, and this was on rollback for like a dollar ninety nine instead of two fifty. So I thought that was a good price, and we were low on them, so I went ahead and got him a box. Then y'all know Way uh, Waylon Trey loves pears, and I always get the kind and one hundred percent juice, so no artificial flavors or colors. Blah blah blah, and he loves these, and um, that's one thing that. I like about Trey with the sensory is that he still will eat a lot of things that are good for you. So that's a plus. And he loves the diced pears. Don't ask me where he gets that because me and the hubby, we do not like pears. Then one thing, though, that is not that great for you, but my kids are obsessed with these right now. Trey, especially the pizzas, he is obsessed with the mozzarella cheese. 
That's just something he's into right now. And believe it or not, he's eating the pepperonis off of these, which y'all know kids with sensory eating meat is a big deal. So we are so proud of him. I post on Instagram him eating cereal, and there's evidence of some cereal he just left behind <laughs> um, on Instagram because him eating with a spoon was a like milestone for us. So I'm just so excited about all the strides he's making with eating because, guys, it has been such a struggle. But I got four of these Armor Lunchmakers pepperonis, and they're a dollar each. My kids love them. Something else Trey's loving is the nachos with the yellow cheese, which he's never eaten before. He always likes that white queso, but he's been loving this, and Waylon likes the salsa, believe it or not. And again, these are a dollar, and I went ahead and got six because if I don't get that many, they fight over them, and they have to share. So I went ahead and got a bunch. I was out of some staples. I was out of extra virgin olive oil, so I just got this great value brand, and that is 25 and a half ounces. I want to say that was like $3 and some change, so not too bad. The vegetable oil, this is a great value as well. I was just out of oil in general from my Mexican pizzas that I fried up. I used the rest of it. Then I was out of flour, and I always like to have flour because I make a lot of recipes and sweets, and I need this, and this was like $1.88, something crazy for five pounds. It's pretty cheap at Walmart. 50 cents for this great value cream of mushroom. And I think this is for the pork chop recipe that I'm going to be making. And like I said, if it's good, I'm going to share it with y'all on foodie, but I wanted to test it first. Then I also needed some marinara sauce for those meatball sliders. I've made that on foodie and I'll link it above for you guys. But um, I love getting the Newman's because 100% of the profits go to charity, which is amazing. And y'all know I'm always about giving back. For the Easter recipe this week, we're going to make the pudding cups and I'm going to be um, putting like the little dirt. So it's going to be Oreos on top. And I just got this family size. I think this is like 98 cents at Walmart of chocolate instant pudding. Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. This is our favorite barbecue sauce. Like, honestly, my hubby won't let me buy anything else. So <laughs> we needed some more for the cheeseburger slider. So I went ahead and got some more of that. Y'all know I mentioned this before in a grocery haul, but this is the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp. And this is the party size, but it's the same price as the smaller bag online anyway. I don't know if that's a mistake. They still haven't changed it, but it's a huge 10.5 ounce bag and it's like super cheap. It's like less than $2. So I love eating this with just cheese cubes for a snack. Sometimes that's my lunch on the weekends. I'm so busy. <laughs> then honey buns is another thing that everybody in here in my house loves. And these were on rollback too. They were almost the same price as the great value ones. So I went ahead and got those. I want to say they were $1.50. Then y'all know that Waylon and the hubby love these blueberry mini muffins. I do have coupons that are about to expire. I need to use on these, but they're like $2.50. With the coupon, they'll make them less than two bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, but I went ahead and got one because we were out and they like them. Then I got this Michelina's garlic chicken Tuscan expi expired, inspired. <laughs> I hope it's not expired. Frozen dinner, and these are for um, lunch. I love these Michelinas, all the different varieties, and yeah, they're not the best for you for the sodium, but guys, I get 20 minutes for lunch, so I need something quick, and I don't have time to make it that often. I needed some more ground meat for my cheeseburger sliders. I already have one pound, but I needed another, so I got that. I'm making um, biscuit sandwiches, like I mentioned, and I needed some bacon for that, and I love this great value fully cooked bacon. I like it better than the name brand. I think it crisps up better and it just cooks much better and it's cheap so why not then I got some broccoli florets and this is a two pound bag I love making this and adding some of those Velveeta pouches or just some like shredded cheese to have broccoli and cheese on the side this is going on the side of our pork chop dinner for the biscuit sandwiches, I usually get the Pillsbury frozen ones, but I saw these. These look new, and there's 20 in here, and they, of, of course, were cheaper. And these are the buttermilk biscuits, and they're supposed to be comparable to those. So I'll let y'all know if I like these in comparison to the Pillsbury ones, but they were way cheaper. And like I said, you get the same amount, and they look the same, so I will let y'all know about those. I'll update y'all on that. My only substitution today for my order were these Great Value Twist and Shout. So these are comparable to Oreos. And I just wanted the small pack, but they didn't have any. So they upgraded me to the family size for the same price that I paid for the small pack. So that's another perk of the online grocery ordering. So I got a huge pack for the same price for the little pack. 
another item for Trey. And most things are catered to my kids on these grocery hauls, as y'all know. But he loves Doritos. And if y'all watch my couponing videos, y'all know that because he's a cheese monster every Sunday with the Doritos. So I got some more because I only had one bag. There is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch that if you watched my Instagram video, he has been loving and I'm having to buy it in bulk because he's eating it like a crazy person. But um, it's $7 for two, so it's $3.50 a box for the family size boxes, which I don't think is bad. I know um, I need to really get some couponing deals on cereal and stock up on this, but I don't think that's bad without coupons. $3.50 for this huge box. Um, I know we can get it cheaper, but you know when you don't, have a deal or whatever, I don't think that's bad at Walmart for that combo box. Then I needed some potatoes for the pork chop dinner and that's five pounds of red potatoes. And I wanna say that was like $3 and some change, so not too bad because I'll use the leftovers for something else. Great value provolone cheese, 12 slices for the meatball sliders or the meatball subs that we're making. And again, I'll have the meatball subs, the cheeseburger sliders, and the biscuit sandwich videos linked above because um, I've made those for foodie before. If you haven't seen them, they're really good. They're staples I make all the time. Then I needed some tater tots to go along with our biscuit sandwiches. Instead of hash browns, I make tater tots, and we love those. I got this huge bag of the seasoned great value French fried potatoes, and this is four pounds, and it's like less than $5. So it's cheaper to get the bigger bag than the smaller bag, and we go through them, so why not? Trey eats this um, Velveeta Slices original for his grilled cheese for lunch every day, and I also use them on the biscuit sandwiches. So I went ahead and got 16 slices, and I like to get the Velveeta versus like your Borden's or your other cheese. Um, first off, it's better as far as the calories and the fat intake than the other cheese. Don't know if it's necessarily better for you, but I just like it because it melts good, it tastes good, and it seems like it's a little bit better for you. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Then I always haul this for lots of recipes. This is the Frigo shredded Parmesan cheese and you get how much in there, five ounces. And I love getting this for a lot of recipes and I like this better than the bag cheese. So I always buy that. And it's only like $2 and some change. Then the Dannon Light and Fit Greek cherry yogurt that is for mama for my lunches, along with two of these Taylor Farms apple and walnut salad with chicken. And it comes with the blue cheese, the walnuts, carrots, all that stuff, guys. It is so good. These are $2.88 a piece. And like I've said before, that is cheaper than my school lunch at where I work at school. So I always get two of those and then like the frozen ones to eat throughout the week since we've only got about 20 minutes. Or sometimes I don't even get lunch because I'm on duty. Yes, that is teacher life. So that is everything that I got, guys, for $119 with tax. Tax was like almost six bucks. Y'all know the struggle's real where I live with tax. And that is going to be um, our weekly menu for the week right there. Y'all be looking out for that carrot patch pudding cups recipe for Easter, perfect for kiddos or to bring to some kind of party or for Easter day. So check for that because I'm trying to stay Easter theme the next two weeks before Easter. Um, so yeah, that's it. And thank y'all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the grocery haul still because I'm trying to be consistent with them, but only want to bring them to you if there's enough haul to show. <laughs> so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying them. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're not with me because we'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. And until next time with another video, y'all have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.